It's been made very clear by now that the Galaxy Note 9 is a powerful device that is able to cater to pretty much any of the user's needs. However, when it comes to showing a little bit of personality, there are a number of things that you can do. I have done a video where I skinned the outside of it and even got a yellow S Pen to finally get that black and yellow edition, and you can take a look at what I did to make that happen over on my channel, youtube.com slash Joshua Vergara. But this is Pocket Now, and I'm Joshua Vergara. What's going on, everybody? And it's time to customize the phone a little bit with some features that that I think everyone should know about the Note 9. So you're probably sick of seeing Galaxy Note 9 coverage by now, it's all over the interwebs, but this is a video I wanted to do back with the Galaxy S9. After all, a number of these features were introduced in the previous Galaxy S device, and I wanted to do a video on it at that point, but wasn't able to. In the Note 9, however, they all return and provide great customization options that I think you should know about. If you're a user of the Galaxy Note 9, this is a way to give it some real personality. There are a few really obvious things that you can do right off the bat. You can change the wallpaper, which is the same procedure on here as it is with pretty much any other Android device. You are able to put in live wallpapers or you are able to put in a static image uh, that will scroll depending on how many home screens you have. If it is inside of the Samsung Themes app, uh, you might end up paying a little bit for it or it might be free if you're lucky. But for true customization, we end up wanting to get our own wallpapers that truly say who we are and what our interests are for the most part. Or maybe you just want to put a picture of people who are important to you as your background. In my case, I tend to make my wallpapers on all of my phones reflect my favorite character of pretty much any medium, Mega Man, and in particular Mega Man X, and that's exactly what I'm doing here. Uh, but since this is a purple phone, I went ahead and went with the villain from Mega Man X, Vile, who is a purple colored villain. But it's a very familiar procedure, and what Samsung has done is given you those same types of customizations with a few extras for both the lock screen and, more importantly, the always-on display. The reason why I love the customization of the always-on display is because it allows you some personalization without having to rely on accessories like cases or skins or anything of that sort. Instead, it's something that's built into the phone, so even if you don't change any of the external parts of the device, you can still make the phone uniquely yours and differentiate it from other phones that might end up looking the same. But again, Samsung Themes is great, but we want to be able to show our own personalities. And in my case, since I have my own channel and I have my own branding, I decided to make that my always on display. That way it's always showing underneath the time and above my notifications. But what if you wanna take it even further than just a simple logo? Perhaps you want to have a motion graphic on there and the Galaxy S9 originally allowed for the creation of GIFs in the always on display and videos in the lock screen, which I'll get to in a second. You can go into the gallery and take any video, either one you shot or one that you downloaded into the device, and you can pick a six second clip from that video to create into a GIF. This is a tool that's built into the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 and if you are a GIF type of person that you love to share and send to all of of your friends or even just put on social media, this is already a powerful tool. Once you have the GIF created, it is put into a different folder, DCIM slash GIF, and when you go in there and see all of your GIFs, you can select one, hit those three dots over on the corner again, and there you go. You could set it as your always on display image. And finally, let's talk about the oft forgotten screen that is between your always on display and the interface itself, the lock screen. I don't blame you for forgetting about the lock screen whatsoever because if you have the fingerprint reader here and you just go straight into the UI, you pretty much never see the lock screen. The only time that you might actually be looking at it is when you're trying to get the phone to unlock via face unlock or iris unlock. And that's exactly what I did. Just bear in mind that if you are using a widescreen video, the very middle of it is going to be cropped for the 18 by nine screen. And one of the reasons why I wanted to show this off is because it's another illustration of just how many options you get in the Samsung Galaxy Note device. And in the Note 9, there are so many things that are available to you as a user that you might not even realize some of them are there. So this is my way of showing that the Note 9 has these tools, especially the GIF maker, which I think a lot of you are going to have a lot of fun with and it's really easy to use, uh, but you can also use the photos, the videos that you have on this phone to great extent, especially as customization options. And really just the creative in me is really happy to share this kind of thing because smartphones are such ubiquitous pieces of tech now. They're always in our pockets and they're always pretty much on display. Uh, so why not find ways of making it more our own and a way for us to express ourselves? If you want to see how I got the skin on the back and what I did to get the replacement S Pen, I changed the purple one, or rather the lavender one in this lavender phone to the yellow uh, S Pen. Uh, you can see how I did that over on my channel at youtube.com slash Joshua Vergara. The link should be appearing right now. 
And of course, you can also subscribe to Pocket Now and consider hitting the bell over on the side so that you can keep up with all of the pieces of content that are available here, including the Pocket Now Daily and the Pocket Now Weekly, hosted by Jaime Rivera and yours truly, respectively. And from there, I'm going to go ahead and call it on this one. I'll see you guys on the next one here at Pocket Now. And I'm going to go ahead and just start using it here as well. Remember to enjoy your tea, everybody.